Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, players. It's another wonderful Friday, the September of 2023, making it another wonderful day for the basics over here on 5Q, 9Q account, and I don't see any of them, so we're going to go ahead and do an auto match instead. All right, got myself a game here against uh, 4Q. And I'll get rid of the other coordinates because that's confusing. All right, let's see what we got here. Now he's hesitating on his second move. The chance he's looking at my profile and he's seeing a lot of green. Or maybe not. Let's go ahead and do double four four points. He can play whatever he wants. That's completely okay. What he chooses to play is an enclosure. Which usually means we're going to go ahead and approach high rather than low, because low gets all weirdy wonky. Ooh, a pincer we're going and building off of here. That is completely fine. I don't know what I want to do about this pincer, though. What is a nice, simple solution? Um... I mean, I could small knight, but there's a, there's a tiny risk by small knight. He's going to try to like do like the cutty times, then we get into a really weird fight. So we're just going to jump out nice and simple. And then he should jump out as well. Don't want to be surrounded. Ooh, we don't like that one quite so much. We're obviously going to go ahead and respond immediately. Now, if I want to go ahead and surround, I can. He can cut me, and then I can... Get uh, more of an influence saying he'll extend up and then we can just go ahead and make ourselves like a nice little fast framework. He goes completely A-O-okay. Uh, instead, I guess we'll go ahead and do this one. Making ourselves some JP JPs. Getting closer to the pincer too, which means we can counter pincer immediately after this. Which we will be doing right about now, I suppose. I mean, I could play here, too, and just surround. I mean, that's not bad. But ideally, fundamentally, I got shape, which means I'm stronger in the area. His stone is very, very close to my thickness, as it were. Therefore, pincering just makes the most amount of sense. I'll do a very, very tight pincer. Now, I expect him to diagonal to try to, uh, you know, get me to drop down and go te, and he gets to cut this off and send te and then attack it. Doesn't quite work that way. But if he does the diagonal, I would go ahead and do diagonal back, and that'd be fine. There we go. Got some self uh, base here. Could come out too. That would be fine. Um, make sure we're nice and light. Prioritizing this group over this group. Let's see how, why I'd say that. Because this one. Right? Kind of behind the me lines here. That's why I did that one over the other one. Took me a minute to realize why I did that, like, instinctively. It's like, yeah, as we defend this one because, uh... Why do we do that? Oh, this is the reason. Now, something like this one into this one seems like it's dead. He's dead. That is, I, I do believe that is now death. Because if I play here, this ain't saving him. He's hard connecting. Then we're fully surrounding him. That right there would be game over. So, goodbye accuracy rating. So I'm pretty sure the AI is like, nah, brah, surround him. There are push and cut options here. I'll play something very, very light instead. That way I'm fine, he's fine, we're all still ignoring important moves, apparently. Well, I can't think of anything else other than surrounding the group. Might wind up being killed. They might be like, but uh, what about your group? Aren't you worried about your group? No, I can only go here, literally go there into there. Which gives me like two eyes, which threatens a third and a fourth. So, no, I'm, I'm not concerned about it in the slightest. But, for now, 
I will take Biggie Point. If you could see in the previous moves, surrounding the black group, very, 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 very huge. If you can see that, recognize it, understand it, play it, you're going to be in a very, very good way here. I mean, that's all there is to it. You're, you're going to be completely styling. Fantastic, as they say. Here, he slowly... Pushing me up to surround his group. If he actually continues with this, I will do it. Because there is no excuse for allowing me to get this move in right now. To do a full 100% surround on the group with no current eye shape. There's no, there's, just not, there's no reason to allow it. I will say, did you allow it? Did you allow it? Oh, you don't. You killed it. Darn it. Um... Well, here we go. I will say this. So what that looked like. So what that looked like was here, here, into here. And there's no getting out of that, right? He could do something over in this side. But I've got way more shape than he does, so that would just be a death. Right? We can all agree on that one? Okay, so that's that one. Um, also here. Also here. I could totally go and play this way. Because this is just going to give me uh, influence on the outside. While he's struggling to go up through here to safety. Right? So that's another instance of surrounding being very, very good. And then last but not least, I don't know where he's played yet. Apparently there. But if he had played anything else, we would just go ahead and play here. Because that just gets cut off nice and easily. So this is over and over and over again. Um, just examples of go for the most part just being called the surrounding game. His last move is also very, very suspect. Because he poked me, right? So what if I counter poked him? Is he going to connect? And then just let those die? Probably not, right? So his last move fundamentally just didn't work, didn't do anything. It's unfortunate, but there you go. We'll go ahead and surround. My shape is a little bit awkward because I just didn't do the clean one. And that is... That is regrettable. That is regrettable. No doubt, no doubt. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. So what will he do here? I'm assuming he's going to try to go ahead and cut something. And that's completely okay. I am fine with the idea that I'm going to back off and give something up in exchange for just solidity on the uh, outside. Because there's a lot of moves that I would like to play. Something like this to fully surround this group would be cool. So I will be playing very, very aggressively here to kind of shore up some of my uh, weaknesses here. Because the last thing that I want to do, uh, honestly, is just have him push and cut me here, or here, or wherever else. And, and just kind of get in a bad way, you know? Alright, that should be that uh, good enough. That should be good enough. That should be good enough. Think he's gonna do it? He's welcome to. If he pokes at the shape that I just made, uh, I will counter poke at his shape. Frack, I was hoping he wouldn't do it though. So yeah, I can just go ahead and play this one. He has to defend, and then we play here. 
or he ignores me and we cut through and the whole thing dies. So this is an interesting move, but does it actually work? Um, okay, technically it actually gets worse. So I'm going to do this poke instead. I'll show you what I'm not going to do, though, which I think is actually more severe. Fundamentally, I think if I actually allow him to do this, That's a very, very interesting idea. One, it puts the poke right at his face. So we've got like all of these cool, weird little forcey moves, all these cool little weird forcey moves into a full surround on his group. At that point, we're just, you know, it's a capture race. Who's going to die first? Who knows? But we'll do this one. Into this one. Much easier, much simpler. Let's go ahead and do this one. This one's not going all in to kill where it's going to defend. A little weird that he's got a weak group like this running around. Um, he kind of attacked for territory on the bottom of the board. But he's just kind of running out of weak group right now. As long as that's there. Not getting shape. I've got a potential infinite amount of points that I can get from just constantly harassing this. Do I need a co-threat or on the board? I can probably find it here. Is a ladder going to break out on the board? I can probably find a breaker threatening the middle group. Uh, do I want a wall to surround an area part of the board? Well, I can just harass this group from that direction to build it. Like over and over and over again. You just have so many different ways that you can profit off of a weak group, which is why I constantly say a weak group is worth infinity points. This doesn't work. If he cuts me, he's dead. I don't... Don't do it. Well, that wasn't a good idea. But I thank you for your donation, sir. I thank you for your continued donation. And your continued donation. He can never cut through here because we instantly Atari him. So since this can never be played, I am never in trouble. Does that make sense? Making sure I doesn't get this incente for like an extra eye here, because like I said, as long as he's not okay, then you know, yada 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 hoota 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 hoota. So that's a happily false eye, which means this group is still weak, which means he's still looking for ways not to die. Without even thinking about it, my cutting point is the area of concern here. That is where I defend. Don't even have to read it. It's like the only thing that matters right now is the relationship between all of the stones and this group. Nothing else matters right now. Absolutely nothing. You could have ignored his last move here to just go and do something else. Like, uh, for example, that one. Now he finds a way to live, or he's probably dead. And at this point, actually, it wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter. Let's say, I don't know, somehow something happened over in here. Like, how much territory would I have on the left hand side just from that attack, right? Infinity points. Infinity points. That's what a weak group is worth. Like, I don't care how much territory he has as long as there's a weak group on the board. 
preferably my opponents, not, not, not mine. Yeah, preferably. Game. That would be game. For some reason, he's defending, or he's going after his two stones. Why he's doing that, I don't know. Um. So yeah, that surround is pretty good. Very, very, very good, in fact. I'll just go ahead and play this way, though. I'll develop a uh, top of the board, maybe here into a move like L16. Looks good, looks good. Now, the way I'm attacking him, you're not supposed to attack him this way. <coughs> I'm running him into the larger area that I could develop <coughs> in order to develop a much smaller area. You're not supposed to do that. But, that's what I'm going to do to keep, uh... Hmm... My first thought was to play here. But then there's there into there. Into here. So, is, I'm making sure it passes the test. Okay, I think it's fine. I don't think anything weird's going on here. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. But, do you have to admit, he's still worried. Okay, so technically he's actually dead. Um, awkward. I won't play it, but I'll show it to you because it's cute. This move almost never works. But here it looks like there's cuts on either side. So this get this is separated. I won't play it, but you know, there you go. Here's a question. Did I just die? It would appear so. Admittedly unfortunate, but not a problem. Admittedly unfortunate, but not the, not a problem. We'll just go ahead and finish off this side. He'll probably try to invade it. I will very likely turn around and kill it. But I'm not going to do the thing that I just showed you to cut this section off and uh, get even more. Uh, I'm going to make this exchange to make sure that he has to constantly worry about both sides. But yeah, just this upper left is, is good enough. Like what's larger? This upper left hand, fourth of the board, or these uh, five, six stones? I mean, it's a pretty obvious uh, answer, right? Um, he noticed that there's a cut there. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I figured he was going to do that one. Now, I have an option. I could let him live. I could just let him live in my corner. I think. Can he live? If I honey on the outside, and he just goes there into there, I don't have to do that one. There, 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 ignore. I could just play there. Into there. Hmm. Basics, huh? That's still more than enough territory. That's what? One, two, three, four, five lines? It's a lot. That is a lot, no doubt about it. But I don't think he can live here. Very well. I'll keep him out of the corner. I'm curious about the other way, though. Take a look at that real quick. So this is what he was going to try to play. Hmm. Looks like it's dead locally. 
He has to get into cutting points, but all ladders lead to me. And not to mention that doesn't work. So yeah, I think the other way it just kills. Interesting. So I think he is dead now. He decided that he couldn't live with this variation. Because where do you go from here? Like, that's not going to work. You could do this one, I suppose. But that's not enough room to live. So I guess he decided this way is not going to work out for him. So now we're playing this variation. But we can already put the moves uh, from here. He connects, I descend, he turns, I extend. I get to Hane because the cut is easily dealt with. And uh, that's dead. I do believe that is dead. So he will have to try to invade in a different way. Maybe, let's see, L18 uh, is a common one that I see. Try to go underneath the thingy thingy. Always go in diagonal into a diagonal, and that should end that invasion. Um, as it's too big, like we can know this is too much territory, right? This is four, five, six, seven, ten lines, seventy points. Two, four, six, eight. So seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Push and cut could be a thing here. So I vote no. Defend against a 3-3 invasion. There is a small undercut here that I am allowing. Don't defend here. Do I might just allow whatever that is. Alright, let's see what he's trying to do first, and then I'll decide if I allow it or not. If I play here, he plays here into here, and then he plays here and I turn. Yeah, it doesn't work. You can drop down now. He pushes, I push. If he goes back into the corner, then we turn, right? So he can't do that, so he's going to push again. But then I'm going to turn anyway, and then I think he's just dead. Whatever. Tell you what. Allow a small reduction. There you go. Small reduction for you, sir. It's a little less than 70 points now. Yeah, a little less than 70 points, I suppose. If he tries to get greedy and connect stuff, I'm going to just kill him. No life here, sir. No life here. Good. So now a little bit of an under thing here. We'll get a nice defense. 3, 6, 9, uh, 12 ish. Not the 20 that I imagined. Could still be 20 if I get an extra move here. Could get, could get 20 if I get an extra move here. I could go to Ko. Like, I think that's what he wants. And I've got my share of threats, I do have to say. We've got some threats in here, we got some threats through here, we got some threats cutting off that, we have some threats cutting through here, some threats going here into a descent and cutting the corner off to this. And my territory is solid, so this is a very localized loss. I could go for the I could go for the co. I think the co is actually not a bad result here. And I very rarely get to teach how to find threats or even assess co. For the sake of education, I will go and allow the cow. I'll go and take this. I imagine he's going to ignore me ASAP. So let's see what we've got here. He can't give up anything. 
This is all of his territory. So we got that for a good threat. Not sure if we have any other threats here. I won't uh, mess around and do things over there. Instead, we're going to go for these and these next. Um, I wish this cut up here was a thing too, but I just can't quite see how it would be. But yeah, these are... A v that was a mistake. He just, lost, he just got rid of the cow. Unfortunate. Oh well. Well. <sighs> that ends the co, I suppose. Weird, because he had so many more co threats, you know? If we look at his co threats, he had these for co threats into something like this for a co threat. Now you have to be careful, because I have counter co threats for that as well, as we're getting more and more invested into the area. Atari. And then we'll go ahead and play something over in here, make sure he can't save this, which will give me another 3, 6, 9, 10, 12 points, something like that. I don't know. I can't count, y'all know that. Ooh, allowing me to kill that is pretty interesting indeed. Mm. Okay. This is fine. I suggest connecting that. That's a pretty big thing to leave hanging around. An extra two, four, six, eight points. That's not significant. That's not insignificant. Can't do any kind of clamps. I can't really see any of them working. So we're just not going to go ahead. And well, then again. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. This isn't a cow, by the way. There, there, there. There. There might be something there. I have to admit, it looks a little bit interesting. Uh, clamp, or nose hit, whatever kills. I'm not gonna play it, but it's an interesting read. But you wouldn't do here into here into here. You run your head into like futile. But here into the jump, he wedges you Atari. That gives you an Atari here or here if you want, but I can't quite make that work. I mean, you can make him a uh, captured, I suppose. I think we're just going to start cat killing. Like, I, he's just being really greedy. If he does anything else uh, one more time, we're just going to start capturing. Like, he left these stones in Atari. These stones are one move from death. So yeah, one more thing and I'm just going to start killing things off. We do have about the 70 points I was referring to here, though. This is clearly 4, 5, 6, 7 versus across, against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, mostly 8, 9, because these kind of negate a lot of that, especially with the capture. So about 70 points here. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 70, 80. 2, 4, 6, 8... Maybe 10, so 70, 80, 90. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Short. Short. That just died because now, well, it didn't, mm, it didn't die, but there's some really seriously ouch uh, Aji here. So which group do you want? You're going to save this one and give me this one, right? Can't save them both, buddy. So let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to push here because he's investing in this, so... 
Oh, I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing. He wants me to push here to get that one in. Then he can go here, here, into a throw-in. But it doesn't quite work because there's still going to be a liberty there. So that's interesting. Uh, either way, I'm taking these stones. They're mine now. Thank you. So it gives me an extra 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So now 70, 80, 90, 100. That defense is very, very painful because it didn't defend these stones that are in Atari. Which, okay, now that did. Um, I Like I said, I don't think anything is really going to work out here. So let's just go ahead and push this back. It's very, very nice. Sente. So we're just getting in some nice free little moves here. Easy as you peasies. Make sure this again. We play here. He does that one. There into there into a throw in we can take. Because there's an Atari there. So we're good. Which means we can Hane. Push him back there, so that's even more points gone. Love to see it. Now we can grab the Hane. Gonna connect solidly because the Hane again on the first line is two extra, er, four more points, something like that. Now, I regret that I think I can play this one too, but that kind of feels like we're getting into cruel territory. And we don't want to be cruel, right? Instead, let's go... Maybe fly a kite? Um, maybe... Could do it up through the atmosphere? You know, where the air is so clear. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, that's where we can go fly a kite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just getting in some nice little reductions. Take a couple of more pointy pointies. Okay. All right. Ah, end game, end game, end game. Do you know how to end game? I think I'm just going to go ahead and give him Tente now. Don't have to capture these, which is bad about it not. Well, do we? We kind of do, don't we? Yeah, without an eye there, we kind of do, huh? I think maybe he thought that was going to be a throw-in because of his pause right now. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go ahead and take those because why not? Just taking more points. More points, more points. Pick an eye there, now I never have to capture the side either. I either get it. <laughs> Nah, eh, sure, whatever. Okay. Um...
We can just go ahead and do this one, because unfortunately it works. We can go here, he connects, I Atari, he drops down, and then never mind. <laughs> Good enough. I think this is like one of the last moves of the game. Everything's nicely connected, so there and like there, and that's probably it, right? No, I think that should be about it. Yep. So we're up by 23 points. Go ahead and say thanks for the game. Spielbesprechung gestartet. And we'll go ahead and review. So yeah, this game's pretty straightforward. The pin search was interesting. The attachment here was bad because it puts more pressure on his pincering stone, so it makes it less valuable. Uh, then he passed by undercutting the group that can't live locally. Like if you tried some kind of uh, surroundy times on it, that'd be a lot better, but he didn't regretfully, so he got to come out very, very easily. Then he tried to attack from below, which puts more pressure on his own stone. And that's where we start having problems because, yeah, I think this is the first area where he just dies. Like, I don't know where this group's gonna go. Like, that's what it, that's the shape that he's got. I don't see him get escaping. Maybe if he's really, really lucky, he'll find one extra point, but it's going to be solidifying this entire surround while he's doing so. And at that point, the game will be out. The game will be over. Um, here, a lot of the same thing. Again, like I showed during the game, we can go ahead and surround. Same thing here, very, very important to recognize the moves that don't work. This one is just going to get you killed again. It's just bad shape over and over and over again. And then this one was, this was painful. Like, he just kept sacrificing more and more stones till he realized, oh, hey, I'm running to a white stone, so there's nothing I can do there. We can keep going back as far as we want. And we can do whatever we want. Well, we probably wouldn't do that one. We'd probably, which one we do? This one, this one? I don't know. Maybe this one. And then this one, this one, this one. Actually, at this point, what I'd probably do is have fun. I'll do this one. Let him take these. Cut this off. And then just kill off these uh, stones over here. That sounds like a lot. That sounds like fun. That right there is a nice fun variation. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. Um, here he left his group to die. So once again, we just go and surround it. And that's the, that's the theme of this game. It was surrounding, surrounding, surrounding. And not taking care of your weak group. As long as you didn't do that, I could literally, as I, as I showed in the game... Literally get a group completely killed and it doesn't matter. Because you just make too many points attacking that weak group. That's all. That's all. Either way, hope you enjoyed this game. And as always, I will see y'all.